Welcome YouTube! Today we're back on the VIP series and boy do we have a lot to look forward to. This is the first day of the Heroic Summons event for his ear on Twitch and we have also got ourselves a deluxe artifact chest which I cannot wait to open up. This contains potentially a very very rare artifact so there's a good chance we could pick up Demon Bell, Antlers Cane, Punisher of Immortal, Magic Stone Sword, anything like that guys. So let's kick things off first by opening this chest and seeing what we get. Here we go, folks. Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. That is a nice pull. We got ourselves a Rui Scepter. Sweet. I am so happy we managed to get ourselves one of those. That is amazingly good. And, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself now. That's absolutely fantastic. Wow, okay, sweet. Right, now we need to think of something else to do. And if you haven't already seen, guys, there's loads of stuff to sink our teeth into this week. We have the gift from Olivia, a package I'm definitely going to buy. We have the Moonlight gift, which is telling us we need to spend 150 bucks to get ourselves a mysterious artifact selection chest. Yes, I am going to do that. And also, if you look, we're going to get 150 relics, which means that's going to push us all the way up to having 400 or at least over 400 so we can get something from the glorious boost in a couple weeks' time. So that is also awesome. So, man, am I excited? That light and dark chest is going to be great. That selection chest is going to be nice. We got another selection chest here. Beautiful. That's going to help us when deciding who our next E5 is going to be if it's not a wall deck. So, yeah, sweet. Alrighty then. And also, there is the summer party, which is just remembered. I've got some codes to put in. So, we put in summer. Let's exchange that. And it's summer party as well. Let's exchange that too to get ourselves some extra scrolls and extra gems. Very, very nice. But guys, let's kick off today by spending 7,500 VIP points to get ourselves everything we need for the Moonlight gift. So folks, let's start off by buying the package here. So with the gift from Olivia purchased, now we can go and think about other stuff that's going to increase our VIP points. We still have 100 bucks to spend. So... I think we go and spend some stuff from the cool events. There's actually a really interesting monthly package in here that offers a void resource selection chest that could be stellar shards, crystals of transcendence, star spawn core fours, uh, sorry, or star spawn core sixes, or star spawn core fives. Now, these are very interesting because star spawn cores can only be picked up from this chest. So we might as well pick it up now once we have an opportunity to buy it and we actually get rewarded for it because I don't really like buying this unless I have a reason to. And this event is definitely a reason to. So that's going to get me 3,500 VIP XP. Now that's going to take me up to 6,000, which leaves me with 1,500 left to spend. So what we'll do is we'll also buy the monthly carnival card. And then for the final 1,000, I can get myself another load of privilege cards. The small one for 250 and the big one for 750. So folks, I'll be right back and I'll purchase all of that stuff. So there we go, folks. As you can see, it says 92 days now on our monthly cards. And if I go ahead to the Moonlight gift, you'll see I have now maxed that out at 7,500. Beautiful, let's go claim the final stuff for my account, which is gonna be a mysterious artifact selection chest. We've already claimed everything else. So man, oh man, am I ready. I think I'm just gonna leave that chest as it is for now. We're gonna have it just sitting and floating around. We may eventually pop it for something, but I think we're gonna comfortably grab a Punisher of Immortal. Uh, next time the Glorious Boost is here to get ourselves a splendid one, which is going to be really, really good because we already have a Radiant one. And then I guess we just kind of probably go for Demon Bells from there on. I'm not sure. But either way, we're looking pretty good. We've got lots of artifacts in the works. I like it. So, folks, the other things we want to do today are, well, we can go ahead and E5 or Anosuke. We can send him into Seal Land and see how an E5 Anosuke handles himself in Seal Land. One of the most frequently asked questions that you guys have been throwing in my direction since the Magic Stone Sword change. So, folks, I'm not going to let you down. We're going to go and check that out. So, before we do, though, I would like to do 100 heroic scrolls let's go do them it's summon time baby first of all we have a free one to cash in that's a sakube okie dokie and we are gonna blast out let's do 90 summons and then we'll finish off whatever's left so let's do 90 guys here we go so here comes 10 a walter very nice 20 nothing there 30 still nothing nothing again 
Come on, don't let me down. Bro. Bro! Not me! Not today! 30 remaining. Are we seriously just getting a Walter? Is that it? Oh. Come on, final 10. Nope. Damn it. That sucked. Alright, let's open this. Did we get a flame strike? No, we got a nice blink. Mmm. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We are so close to getting ourselves a flame strike, man. So, 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 so close. Ah. Alright then. So, what are we gonna do, guys? What are we gonna do about that? I don't know if we can build E5 and Oske. That's absolutely what I wanna do. But it didn't work. We didn't get it. So we're going to have to go find another solution. Let's go check the, uh, not the bag, but let's go to our heroes. See if we have a way we can pull out a fortress hero. We do. We have this five-star hero shard right here. Field. No, that's unfortunate. But you know what I do have, guys? Right here, I have an elite five-star light hero shard. That I do want to open. I'm so curious to see who we get. We could get someone real nice from here. So, folks, I'm going to go summon this. Let's see what we get. Wow. Another one. Chat. That was just rough. Another Tussalago. <sighs> Fine. All right, let's open this elite hero shot. Scary. Not that great. But bro, come on, a Tussle Largo? That's not fair. That has like sapped all happiness from me right now. And we've done our summons and we didn't get anything there either. I've been scammed. All right then, what am I going to do now? Let's go to the bag. And I have something in here that's going to get me stuff. This right here, Deluxe Summoning Chest. Boom, Cause of Transcendence. Let's open that. Let's get the four cores. That's what we're going to do. And with those four cores, we're going to go to the void and we're going to open and we're going to do a 10 bomb. And folks, if you've been paying attention, you'll know I haven't been having that much luck, if I'm honest, from our summons. It's been pretty rough, pretty unfortunate. So folks, we're going to hopefully turn that around. We're hopefully going to get a transcending sphere or, you know, loads. That'd be really good. So let's go ahead and make that happen, guys. Also, I'm actually going to switch our Compass of Transcended Hero in the Light and Dark faction to Amon Ra. Mainly because pulling Amon Ra's is pretty good considering I need a good number of them. So here we go, folks. Wish me luck. Let's go. Let's pop off. So, Tix or Amon Ra. Let's get a Transcending Sphere 2. Here we go. 10. You ready, folks? Let's do it. Let's go! Finally redeeming for the bouts of bad luck I have had two transcending spheres. Suck on that game. Nice. Finally. Good. Absolutely poggers. That has made my day. Yes. Now it's time to go pop off. All right, bag. Let's go ahead. Pop in out these transcending spheres right here. We're going to use both of them for stellar shards because really there's nothing else worth going for. That's going to give us half a million. Beautiful. Let's go to Drakey Boy now. Let's imprint him up. Oh, yes. Right. Imprint map. Quick upgrade. And we can make him Void 3 if I can build myself a 10 star. You guys know the 10 star we're chasing. It's currently Flame Strike, of which I need one more copy. Wait. Yes. One more copy. And man, we are so close. Where am I going to get a flame strike from? Right, quick, go to the guild. Everything is just Operation Flame Strike now. Can I get the five star? Nope, I've already pulled the five star. We literally did that last time when I was chasing flame strike. Oh, is there anything else this event that could possibly give a flame strike? No, nothing to my knowledge. Although we do get a callback. That's nice. Got to remember that's the thing. It's cute. I think we just have to accept that we're currently super unlucky in the Fortress faction and we haven't got a flame strike yet, which is just stinging me. It is actually horrible. So let's go take a look at the Shadow faction to see if we can actually go ahead and build this Bade that we've prepared for. So for Bade, I think we can get into 9 star pretty comfortably if you consider that we have a 6 star Shadow Puppet here. So we can actually just start building him now. Um, so yeah, let's go to Bade. Let's start pushing him up. So we're going to quick upgrade Bade. 
We're going to bring him up, evolve. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and give him a stone for no reason whatsoever. And we shall give him some upgrades. So we've got Glenn, 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 Glenn. We've got all these little death spawns here. We've got Grumpy Corpse too. We've got Lamb. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to go into him. So there we go. That's seven star bait. Nice. Let's go with another upgrade to bait. We're going to use Dominator. We're going to use Field. We're going to use Lutz. And we're going to use these uh, little puppet right here. Very nice. That's going to be eight star bait. Now I need another six star. All right. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus a Walter. Okay. Right. Do we have any shadow heroes just sitting around? If we do, guys, we can totally build this bait. Uh, where's my shard form? Let's turn that off. Shadow hero. Yes, we do. That's a Lutz. Beautiful. Oh, my word. Do we have any more shadow food? We've got to have something. I don't think we need it, though. No, we don't, but we don't need it either. So, guys, I think we just go to the creation circle. We can make a six-star. Yeah, this is going to be good. Ooh, actually, it might not be, considering... Bade, hang on a second. Wait, you're eight-star, right? Yeah, so nine-star is going to cost two. Yeah, no, it's good, it's good. So, if I go to the bag, and I go to the six-star chest... Where are you? Wait, wrong button. Here we go, bag. Let's go to the six-star chest... This here gives me a shadow puppet. Nice. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Solution. We don't need flame strike at all. We're just going to build Bade instead. So, Bade, let's get you upgraded. We're going to give a copy of Bade to here. We're going to put in the, the, the shadow hero I didn't summon. I'm, I'm a genius, clearly. So, pop that out. All right, let's go back. There's Bade. Let's put in Bade. Let's put in the shadow hero. Now let's put in some food. It's just going to be two death swarms. No pressure. Awaken. Nine star bait. And now what we're going to need is a nine star puppet, which I have. We're going to need a six star puppet, which I can make. And two copies of bait, which I have. So let's go first of all see if we can six star anyone in the shadow faction. We have two death swarms here. Do we have anyone else? Two Glens, a Walter, and a Lutz. Absolutely perfect. Confirm. Fuse. Six star death swarm. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our heroes, we're going to go to our shards. Let's look for a 9-star. We don't have one because the 9-star is in a chest, of course. So we're going to go to the bag. We're going to go to chests. Where's my 9-star chest? There it is. We'll pull it out for shadow just because we can. Tada! And now if we go to heroes, we go ahead and click on bait. We'll be able to go give this guy the food he needs to progress. That's fantastic. Oh, I didn't pull out the stupid thing! Damn it! Right, okay, summon. Try again. I keep making that mistake. Right, Bade. Six star. Shadow Puppet. Confirm. Tada. Awaken. Oof. Ten star Bade. Nice. Alrighty then, Bade. You're ten star. You're ready to be used as food. And I think we're going to use him to void three Drake. I'm sorry, Anosuke. But, um, I don't think... E5-ing Anosuke is smart when we can imprint Drake. I'm afraid that is the situation I've been dealt right now. I have to make that decision. It's a tough decision to make. Because we can go ahead, really, and just build someone in the Abyss faction. And Flamestrike could become 10-star. But, oh, it's oh, it's so close. That's the thing. We're not going to need Drake at Void 3. Unless we're going to be trying to push him in the Aspen Dungeon. Which we can, but I'd rather do that with a 10-star Amon Ra as well. Yeah, let's make E5 and escape. Let's do it. Let's make the boy. Because if we make him E5, we get a 9-star puppet back. And then we can use that 9-star puppet to go ahead and build Flame Strike. And that Flame Strike will imprint. Yes, yes. That's smart. That's clever. Let's be smart. And I meant Seal End. Yes. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go get ourselves an upgraded Anoscape. So here we go. 10 star. And do we have an Anoscape copies? No, I don't. Oh, it's got to be one in the bag or something, right? Uh, yeah, I've got two in the bag, in fact. Yoink. There you go. So if we go to Heroes, we go to Anoscape. And we're going to pop in your boy Bade. And a Nosuke. And here you go, guys. That's going to be an E5 Anoscape upgraded. Very nice. We can give him Unbending Will. Let's just switch him around. There we go. Ta-da. And it also means we can go ahead and we can claim our Glory Challenge reward. Stop trying to sell me things! Urgh. Right, let's buy this. Nice. So, we can use that 9-star to go ahead and either upgrade Amon Ra or build Flame Strike. I think building Flame Strike is the smart thing because we can then upgrade Drake to Void 3. Yeah, that is smart. That's all good. 
And I think we're ready to go, guys. So what I'm going to do now with Oranoske, I'm going to try and level him up. Our spirit isn't that high. Hmm. I don't have much. Okay. I also don't have warrior gear, but I can get some. Oh, now that's a thing. I can get Drake Resonance gear. That's that's a thing. Yes, Grados Blessing is here. So how much 6-star armor do we have? How much 4-star armor do we have? And how much gold do I have to throw at this event? I could use up all my gold getting all the armor we need. And I would be broke. He's a ranger. Oh, does that warrior gear? Yeah, ranger gear for an game. My bad, guys. My bad. Um, now, let's look at this. We can upgrade this to resonance. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff to consider here. We really do. So, do we have any more five-star armor? Oh, we got, we got another set of six-star there. So, actually, I can legitimately go and do this. I have two full sets of six-star armor. Okay. Right. That's interesting. So, if we go to Grey Dwarf's Blessing, I can go ahead and make the Ranger suit, the Minstrel suit, as it's called, for a Nosuke. And then, for Resonance suits, I can go ahead and make the Assassin's Resonance suit as well. That's going to cost a lot of gold, but that's going to really power up my team. So I think we're going to do that, guys. So let's go ahead. We're going to forge the Resonance gear. So there's our Resonant Assassin gear. Lovely. And if we go to Class Suits, Minstrel Suit, we can go and make ourselves a Ranger set. Wait, wait, wait. Is that right? Is that right? Is that what it's going to cost? Minstrel Suit? Yeah. And that's going to be for Inosuke. Now I'm poor. 62 million gold. It all disappeared. But that's understandable. Because now we can give Inosuke some fancy smancy armor. Good for you, buddy. Well done. And we're going to go ahead to Drake. And he gets extra fancy armor. But this armor, before we do anything with it, I'm going to go and see if we can high roll at the blacksmith and tune it to Drake. So, folks, let's start off. Is any of it actually tuned to Drake? No, it's friggin' Tussalago, isn't it? Ha! Huh. Balls. And a Nakia as well. As well as Faceless. But Tussalago haunts me, guys. She haunts me so much. Can you just go away? Let's go give this to Drake. Now he's going to be extra, extra powerful. Lovely. Super strong Drake. Right. Anosuke, also super strong. Look at that. I could upgrade this stone, but I don't want to go ahead and waste the gold. So we're just going to leave that as that is. And do you think we try out this Anosuke in Seal Land then? I think we do. Right, what more levels can we get out of him? I don't think we'll get many. Yeah, we ran out of gold in four button peshes. Okay, that's, that's annoying. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much broke now. And uh, yeah, that's a shame. Do his void imprints for sure. Let's go. So we're going to quick imprint his way around here. Yoink. Uh, yoink. Uh, yoink. And actually, let's also go to Drake. And we're going to yoink all these as well. So let's go to the imprint map. Let's just take them off Drake for the time being. Because we're going to put them back on Drake when we're finished. Um, but I just want to see what a Nosuke can do. So we'll go with two, I think. We'll just get into imprint level two and see what he can do. Because I think two is attainable. Imprint level two is attainable for early players. Three is a little bit of a push. So we'll just try this. I'm not going to go further. We'll just leave it there. Anyway, let's go give this a try. And you're saying broken spaces? That's true, actually. With an imprinted Anosuke, he's also going to be very, very good at broken spaces. So, yeah. Let's go see if we can beat broken spaces now. We've got an upgraded Anosuke. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. But it's worth a try. And you know what, guys? Trying is what counts. Why don't I use the new layout? Uh, because it's new. Uh, so I'm... I forget it's a thing. It's easy to overlook it and forget it, right? Just trying to get into new habits is difficult. Right, Anosuke is doing very well here. His shields are impressing me. He's staying alive. Very easily. Look at him go! Right, that went to round 15. That was actually pretty good. Well done, Anosuke. Absolutely well done. But that was 1% damage. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Wah, wah. 
All right, never mind. Flame shrine up, please. I've already flame shrined up. But okay. Put better enables on Anosuke. And put the Punisher on him for extra crit damage. That's a good point. We could do that. What do you mean better enables? His enables are already aggressive. Oh! Yeah, lethal fight backs on. We can go with aggressive one. No, we need control purify. You think we go with balance strike on Onosuke? Let's do it. More damage. Yeah. Right. Now, Drake, we're going to go with HP. Rogue, but he died quite quick. So, I'm going to keep Drake alive. We're going to make him support the Onosuke. We're going to yoink the Punisher of Immortal. We're going to give it to Onosuke. And Drake, he's going to enjoy Echo of Death. So, folks, let's send them back in. Let's see what they do. I'm hoping for good stuff. Will this make a difference? It might do. It might not. Let's see. Here we go. Fight. Attack. Let's make it happen. Imprint? Uh, I don't want to take uh, Inosuke further than Imprint level 2 just to test him out in the seal land. And we'll upgrade him as and when we need to. I know you want me to put further levels on him. I understand. But yeah, I could actually put some imprints on Drake to be fair. That's totally doable. So we'll do that. Although it's looking like Inosuke is having a pretty darn good time here. Uh, but didn't do that much more damage. Hmm, okay. Alright, in that case, let's go to Drake. Let's give him those imprint levels you guys are on about. So we'll do this. Quick, quick, quick. Upgrade his HP. Upgrade his attack. And upgrade his attack and HP. And let's send ourselves back in. Drake will probably still die, in all fairness. But we can still try. Broken spaces, boom, attack, smash. Run a burn hero. Uh, yes, that's actually a really good point because of Phoenix. I'll run Death Swarm. Good shout. There he is. Let's see the difference he makes. Alright, so both the opponents are burning, which means they'll take more damage from Phoenix. How much more damage, though? Not enough! And we lost a Nosuke. That was a really sucky round. That was garbage. Hmm. Okay. Right. In that case, I'm a little bit stumped. It was just a bad round, I'm assuming. Can't really get any more levels out of here. Maybe we do need to put Unbending Will on the Nosuke. You know what? We'll just try again. It was a bad round. Let's try again. Alright, this is looking a little more promising. Both of them are still burned, as expected. Drake looks like he's going to die. onosuke has got his shields up, which is good. Hopefully he can keep them going if he breaks out a CC. There we go. Phoenix comes in. Does that make a big difference? Let's find out. Nearly a billion. It's still slow and steady wins the race right now. Ah, uh, we could smash it. But that's going to use all my Broken Spaces tickets. And Broken Spaces resets in three days. I don't think it's going to happen. We'll do one more. But honestly, guys, I don't think we're going to cut it. I don't think we're going to cut it. And you guys are saying put Balance Strike on Drake. I don't think that's going to do it either. Right, he takes way too much damage from the damage over time from Oberon. Yeah, we're getting wrecked. There's no point wasting our attempts. We're not going to do it. So, yeah. Oh, well, guys. We tried. So what we're going to do instead... You're saying use an Ignis for CC immunity? Uh... It's 20% control immunity. If I had a 10 star, I would totally do it. But I don't have a 10 star, so it's not going to work. But you get gold back. Yeah, I know we get gold back. But um, I don't think we can actually do it in enough tickets, guys. I don't think it's going to work. Because it's too RNG focused. It's too 50-50. So in that case, we're going to do what we came here to do. So let's go ahead into the seal land. And let's take it down. So we're going to try again with this team. Same formation as last time. Here we go. Come on. Let's see if we can beat Seal Land 12. We have Balance Strike on Anosuke right now. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. We'll leave it. It may be. Let's find out. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. He smashed it. No problem at all. So this is with a Void to Anosuke. Here comes Seal Land 13. Is that going to be just as easy? 
Remember, he is using a Radiant Punisher of Immortal, which increases his damage when he crits, which he will do when he's got his shields. Nice. All right. 14. Here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. We might need to add in Unbending Will here. This is his first death. Let's try again. This is looking very nice. Break free. There we go. Nicely done, buddy. Sweet. Okay, seal land 15. Here we go. This is either going to match or beat Drake, it seems. Which is good to see. Ooh, Sherlock staying alive then. Nice. All right, Anosuke, stay in there, buddy. You've got an active skill. Good. Come on. Let's go. Good job, Anosuke. Might be worth putting on bending will on him now, but I am just going to leave him as he is right now. Because he hasn't died yet. No, oh, we might do, though. Yep, he got beaten. But that was a pretty bad run, so we'll go again. Come on. Okay, I'm going to put Unbending Will on him because he is dying very easily right now. So let's go ahead to Anosuke. And let's give him that. So, buddy, where are you? Uh, there you are. There's your skills. Let's go ahead and go with Unbending Will. See if that makes any difference. Back into Seal Land. Here we go. Good luck, my dude. Let's do it. And yeah, a lot of people saying they're having trouble with Anosuke in Seal Land. I'm not surprised. The new update really did hurt him. And he's just, you know, it, I guess it just depends where his attacks land as well, right? If we can lower the DPS of the opposing team, it's going to be really helpful. But we are still struggling a little bit. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, that, that sucked. That was garbage. <sighs> Trying again. Here we go. Are you saying, don't you need to run him tanky after the update? He has a HP heal effect stone. It may be worth giving him HP. We'll see. So let's go back. Let's try switch his stuff around to HP on his imprint. See if that makes any difference whatsoever. So we're going to go HP here. We'll go HP here. Let's give him 24% extra HP. Question is, is his attack and shields going to still live up to that? Let's find out. We'll buy five more tries. He may just not do enough damage now. You've got to kind of find the right thing. And swap the stone. We could do, but it's going to use a load of gold. And I don't have the gold to just throw around. So we're just trying it out as it is right now. This will be a work in progress. I don't think we're going to clear seal land with this. Not as it stands. We still need to upgrade. And you say, why heal effect? Because that was what we rolled. We were just after something with HP. It's not intentional. His stone isn't maxed. We're just being safe on resources. Let's keep going. Mysterio guy asking, is Aspen a good E5? Not really. I wouldn't recommend you building. All right, everyone is still getting one shot. These guys are hitting hard. Uh, you got to remember as well, range attack isn't maxed. So before you start going, ooh, Anosuke sucks, our range attack isn't maxed, and our um, other things such as the monster aren't maxed. So we're just trying it out as it stands. I don't think he's quite cutting it yet. So what I need to do is I need to get the guild tech finished and I need to fully upgrade the monster and then we'll come back in and see how he does. You have to bear in mind this monster, its runes aren't that high. We're literally rocking 45, 20 and level 1. We want to get 60 and 60 in both of these to be within any chance and the monster itself needs to be level 178 or higher to get the most out of it. So it's not really going to help. And you're saying more imprints? I don't want to do that. I don't want to throw too many imprints onto him. I mean, we can try. I don't know if it's going to work. But then as soon as I'm done with these imprints, I'm going to go ahead and put them back on Drake. And I want to try Drake in Seal Land. So we can go ahead and imprint on Oscar if you want. Although I think at this point, it's now a little unfair on people that are like, oh, can you do it? I mean, sure, we'll try him out. We'll make him nearly Void 3. But uh, I don't think it's going to make much difference. So we'll send him into the Seal Land. See how this does. But guys, don't hold your breath. Pretty sure he's still going to die. Yep, 
That didn't go very well. Got a few more attempts if we want them, so let's send them in. At least we managed to kill one of the opponents. That's nice. Let's make that two. And Nosuke still died. I think there is a possibility he does this. So I am going to keep trying with five more attempts. If it doesn't beat it now, I think we stop. Well, that's nice. Okay, okay. Damn it, he didn't kill one. That's a real shame. Although he seems to be doing a lot better with these tankier enables. I imagine attack HP would be very strong here. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Come on. Would resilience help? Uh, nope, because we get frozen and then we're just stuck. So we need to remove the, uh, the freeze on him. So we need control purify. I was close. Each time, it looks like he could potentially do this, but he's just kind of sucking. And he might do it once he's leveled up. That's true, right? Once he's got guild tech, once the monster's maxed, once his level is maxed, there is a higher chance he does this. So don't just go giving up on him right yet, guys. Don't use this as a representation for failure. There is plenty more to test with him. There's plenty more improvements we can make to him. And I'm pretty confident that we'll find a way. We will find a way. Even if it's a little bit wonky, even if we have to run like a 10-star Sherlock or Fiona or something, we will find a solution. We'll do one more attempt, just for good measure. And I think, guys, that is going to be us done for today. So, let me know how you think this account's been progressing. It's nice that we now have E5 Anosuke. I'm really happy with those two Transcending Spheres. And yeah, we made a little bit of progress, but I feel like we need to be patient with this event. I think next event's going to be really nice. We're going to get ourselves a Rogan. And this week, well, this week we've still got plenty more to do. We're going to go and try a Void 3 Drake in Aspen Dungeon. That's my hope anyway, because we're very, very close to building that 10-star Flame Strike, especially with that 9-star we picked up for E5-ing Onosuke. And that's going to be enough imprints to get ourselves a Void 3. Also, as time passes on, we're going to get more guild coins. We're going to be able to upgrade our monster. And finally, we'll be able to try Anosuke and Drake, both of Void 3, in their respective seal lands to see just how far they can go. But for now, guys, I think that's all. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Fairly peaceful as far as the VIP series goes. But it's going to get more of a grind as we go on, I think. I think the closer we are now to uh, endgame, it is going to get a little more difficult. And we're nowhere near endgame, but obviously the more E5s you have, the slower progress becomes so it's going to be something a little patient for us but once that monster is up once those guild coins are in it's going to be pretty good so folks until next time have a great week and happy island